Welcome back. Happy to be joined by a familiar face. I don't dare call you an old friend because, you know, when you play 17 NBA seasons, you guys start to get a little sensitive about that. Lindsey Hunter, great to have you here. Good to be it's here. It's been a while. A couple of years in Chicago, we certainly missed you. Your voice, you lost it a little bit. What's been going on? Well, you know, I've been coaching AAU, uh, 10 and under, youth basketball, so uh, it was great to do, but in the process, of, I kind of got a little hoarse. That's what happens. All right. <laughs> Naturally, the first question viewers are going to want to know is, is, is Lindsey playing the 2010-2011 season? What can you tell us? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. I have no plans to play anymore. I, I think I've uh, emptied the tank in, in this body, and, and I've gotten as much as I can get out of it. Hey, 17 great seasons. You went to the finals three times, two championships. It's a phenomenal run. You've got to be pretty proud with what you've Oh, I, I thank God every day uh, when I think about some of the things that I went through. and. Uh, some of the memories that uh, I have now, and it's phenomenal. Tell us what's going on next week at Cast Tech. Really cool basketball tournament started in Chicago, so you might have known a little bit about it out there. Now it's coming to Detroit. What's happening here? Well, it's the Red Bull Open Run and um, five on five uh, fast paced tournament that's happening at Cast Tech, as you mentioned. And um, uh, the big thing that drew me to it, uh, me and my partner Will, was the fact that uh, after the tournament, the winners, th there'll be courts presenting their names in refurbished in neighborhoods and uh, to help have for somewhere for kids to go play. And, and that's phenomenal for me. Anytime I can give back in Detroit, uh, I, I want to be a part of it. Seems pretty cool, though, because there's 30 teams, 10 minutes games, so it's pretty quick. You better come out strong. It's not like you can bounce back in the second half. This is for real players. This is not for guys who pretend to be players. This is for real players. Uh, Will and I started to put a team in it ourselves, but uh, we suffered some minor injuries in a, a pickup game somewhere, so we decided not to. So, but it's for real basketball players. Yesterday, you actually held some tryouts too to get the, to fill out the field. How did that go? There were tryouts, and uh, it was some serious, serious guys out there trying to make an impression. So. Uh, and that kind of showed me that uh, maybe I should step back and just watch. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So it'll be next Saturday, 10 o'clock, Cast Tech. It, it's great that you're a part of that. I want to get your thoughts on some of these things that have been happening in the NBA. First of all, when you make a decision to call it quits, what's the number one determining factor besides your joints being achy and everything else? Well, for me, that was the determining factor. <laughs> uh, I, I think um, when you wake up in the morning and, and you feel all the different ailments that you've been through in your career, and I can you know, pointing my elbow and my knee and my, my right ankle and all of those different things. And, um, you know, I still have passion and love the game, but at the same time, you know, all good things must come to an end. And I just thank God that I could do it on my own terms. This has been a ridiculous off season. You mentioned before we started taping this, <laughs> how about those Miami Heat? What do you think about what went down there at South Beach? Well, um, I, I didn't agree with how it was formatted and, and how LeBron did it, but ultimately it was his decision, and that's why we have free agency. So uh, people can point the finger and say whatever they want to say about him. Um, but that was his time to make a decision in his life, um, which was a business decision, about where he wanted to play basketball. And unfortunately for a lot of people in the NBA, it was with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. Now, you were clearly very close with the guys at Chicago in the last couple of years. What were your impressions of that team, Derrick Rose specifically? What do you see in their future over these next couple of years? With the signings that they have, I think they really got better. And, and I think uh, in Chicago, you, with Derrick Rose, you have a player that you can build on. He's a, a legitimate bona fide superstar, a guy that wants the ball in the last second of the games, a guy that can carry a team, uh, even at a young age. And with Joe Kim Noah and, and Boozer and, and some of the other guys they've added, they'll be right there. They'll be right there. You were able to face the Pistons this year. Must have been a little odd last year as well. When you see what's been going on with them and you see them not making the playoffs and struggling last year, how does that affect you as a guy who's been a part of that organization? Well, uh, I think everybody that knows me knows that uh, my heart has always been in Detroit and uh, will always be in Detroit. And you know, you always look, I always look in the box scores to see what they're doing, to see what the new guys are doing, and to see what uh, Rodney Stuckey and, and all those guys are doing. And, um, you know, I always wanted to reach out and, and just try to help guys as much as possible, even though, you know, I was on the other side. Um, but you never know what could happen in the future. And, and um, you know, maybe if things happen the right way, I'll be working with them in, in some aspects. So. Well, that'd be great. Nice to have you back in town. We appreciate you coming here tonight. We love the fact that you're helping out down at Cast Tech next week, too. Thank you guys for having me. Lindsay, good job. All right.